-hmm. Gentlemen, mm -hmm. the Warriors, the Timberwolves, they punched <laughs> in for their second game in oh, four God. days it's, last oh, night. It's something about that in-season tournament. It took mm -hmm. less than 100 seconds. I mean, Kendrick Perkins, check the score here. 0-0. Zero, zero. Watch in the corner there. Clay Thompson, Jaden McDaniels. I don't know, what was he going for a box out? Did he just go straight for the jersey rip down? I mean, this had to start from their last game, right? You know, Jay McDaniels, look, he was on Clay Hills like a pair of church socks. So, you know, Clay <laughs> was frustrated. They didn't, they didn't I'm just saying, I'm just saying, game. I'm just saying last game. Last game. Well, it wouldn't stop between Clay and Jaden McDaniels. There, watch Draymond Green and Rudy Gobert. Draymond just flies in for the from the top rope. The chokehold? Yeah, full chokehold. That was, uh, that might have been a little personal. I don't know. Well, Clay would end up being assessed two technical fouls and tossed out of the game. McDaniels assessed two technical fouls, <laughs> tossed out of the game. And then Draymond Green, for his <laughs> display in all of this, was assessed a flagrant two, and he was also tossed. We needed to get the slow mo angle here, oh, Austin. Man. This is what it looked like. <laughs> Here is what it would sound like after the game from the perspective of Rudy Gobert after all three players were ejected. Follow my cell phone, you know, uh, being uh, the bigger man again and again. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of funny because before the game, I was, I was telling myself that Steph is not playing, so I know Draymond's going to try to get ejected. Rudy had his. Uh, hands on Clay's neck, and that's why Draymond went after Rudy. And uh, that's I saw one replay um, right after it happened. Um, the guys on the back of the bench were telling us uh, <clears throat> that Rudy had Draymond uh, or had Clay, and that's why Draymond went went at Rudy. So that's all I all I know. And I do hope though that uh, the Rudy is going to do what needs to be done. You know, uh, uh, yeah, because that's that's. Uh, yeah, that's just clown behavior. So right now, the league is in the middle of reviewing the video, interviewing the parties involved. And I can tell you, as the league considers what to do here before handing down a decision, they also take into account, is this an offense that has happened before? And as you can see with Draymond Green, it has happened a couple of times. So, Mr. Wilbon, I would like you to put on your commissioner hat, please. Oh, I'm happy Adam to do Silver, that. If you are Joe Dumars, if you are handing this down, do you think that Draymond will be suspended and for how many games? Of yes, he has to be suspended. Sure. Um, the league is likely to go three games. I, I, I would make it five. The league is likely to go three. I don't see them doing anything stronger than that. You see multi-game, though. Multi-game. Even though the Two to three. They'll go two to three. Okay. But this, you have to want to see this playoff series, right? Sure. Because this didn't start at 0-0, and it didn't start because Draymond saw Rudy's hands on Clay. Mm -hmm. That might have been a trigger, like a justification, but this goes back to last game, maybe something last year. We'll find out about it, but I hope Austin agrees with me. I hope I'm not out left well, Austin has some this. experience uh, <laughs> putting someone in a... I do have a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I see three, four game suspension here. Nobody threw any punches. Nobody got hurt. Uh, Rudy walked away fine. Um, but this is what Draymond does. You know what I mean? He is, he's an antagonizer. He's, he's a guy that he's an enforcer for the Warriors. He's a guy that is supposed to be the big dog. You kind of had a similar role, you know what I mean, with the Celtics, where if something were to happen, you would have to step in, and sometimes in a split second, you can maybe react a little bit stronger than you wanted to. <laughs> Man, listen, here's the thing. <laughs> All respect to Draymond, right? Future Hall of Famer, four-time NBA champion, four-time All-Star, Defensive player of the year, his resume is longer than the holiday weekend. We got that out the way. Okay. The league has to make a statement because it's a problem there. And the problem is, is with Draymond. If you look at his history of him kicking people, of him stepping, I mean, literally hop-stepping on Sabonis last year in the postseason. Donovan Mitchell, I've never heard anyone say anything negative about Donovan Mitchell. How do you get into it with Donovan Mitchell? You're talking that, about over the weekend. I'm talking about Draymond Green two yeah. games ago. That game. So yep. when I'm looking at it, I'm looking at this behavior that he's displaying time and time again. And what I was always told is no one, one individual that's bigger than the league itself. And the league is also supposed to protect their players. And the things that Draymond Green is doing right now on the floor, Adam Silver in the NBA has to make a statement 
to Draymond. What's a statement? A statement is five to ten games. Wow. Because he has to learn from this. Like, this can't be tolerated. This is unacceptable. And whether, whether or not we, we like Rudy Gobert as a person or whatever the case may be, he's a hell of a basketball player. He's also a Hall of Famer. And the respect level has to be there. There's no way that man should have been in a chokehold like that. Yep. No way in hell. Donovan Mitchell thing went at him the other day. Draymond tried to go to Ant the game before, talking all that junk at him. Ant wasn't having any of it. Mm-hmm. And Rudy verbally laid the smack down after the game. Yeah, called him a clown. The tide is kind of turning here where players, they know he's a four-time champion. He is a future Hall of Famer. He's one of the best defenders in the history of the game. He's a genius yeah. on the basketball court. The rest of the league is getting tired, and they're telling you that they're getting tired. And by the way, we're talking about Draymond. This the Warriors are six and six. Mm. They have one good win and, the entire and Clay, season. Uh, rather, Steph is going to be Steph missing a couple is games. missing a couple games. Draymond's going to get suspended. You're talking about playoff series between these two teams. They got to get start getting serious about winning some games. This, these last few games have been tests for more tough games coming up. They failed. Every test. Yeah. Like they've got seven, Zach. They've got to get it together. <laughs> but also, you, you were in these matchups not that long ago. You, yeah. These were these were your teammates. These were your guys. You saw those matchups with Draymond Green up close. Is what Zach's saying true? The the time running out on people's tolerance for well, this? I, I feel, you know, Minnesota also feels that they're a team, you know, emerging in the West. They think it's their time. You know, we've all sat back, you know, and watched the Warriors dominate the NBA for the past decade. These young players, these young towns, J.D. McDaniels, 140 mix, uh, was it 146 million dollar contract? These are guys that got something to prove this year. And you know, last year we got knocked out the first round, swept by Denver, or we won one game. And the year before, I think they won the play-on game just to get in. Right now, they're one of the hottest teams in the NBA. You know, and Draymond has run this 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 thing for a long time now, where he's got into it with multiple players. What's well, well, a piggyback on your point? And it's a great point. It's not just the Minnesota Timberwolves. It's the league overall. Yeah. Who are we talking about? Jason Tatum, John Morant. I mean, uh, Jason Tatum, Tyrese Maxey, Luka Doncic, Anthony Edwards. Like, these guys are not respecting the old heads no more. They're saying this is our league, SGA, right? And so that old approach, the old warriors, the bullies, like no one is respecting that no more. They're saying, you know what? We have to win games, and you have to respect what these young boys are doing. Kendrick, it has to be enforced. And that's where we go right back to the commissioner's office and mm-hmm. Joe Dumars. And God knows Joe Dumars was involved in more dust-ups than that. They would make that look like a featherweight dust-up <laughs> with the bad boy Pistons and, and the thing. Joe, not personally, but, but in it, in, yeah. the, in the fray. I, I don't know that the league is ready to do what you're asking. I agree with you that that you – look, if you were Adam Silver and you really wanted to send a message, Adam, again, Adam, the, 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 the whole operation – you say to Draymond, you say to the Warriors, we're not having this anymore. And here's the number. And the number is north of five. Do, do I believe that they're going to do that? I absolutely do not. Whatever the number is, you, you nailed it. Look, I'm, I can't psychoanalyze Draymond Green or what's going on. But you talk to people around the league today about Draymond's last week yep. in the NBA. And you hear a lot of, I wonder if they know deep down that their moment is passing them by, and this is how it's mm. manifesting, like this raging against the dying of the light. Sure. But, you know, it's a long season. We'll see. But that's the – that's you you do hear people saying that. That's the chatter. And, you know, you see the, the post that Draymond Green put up on his Instagram the other day after yeah. he was uh, tossed out of the Cavaliers game where he's sort of talking about this is who I am, this is who I've always been. I don't really – here, this is it right here. I'm in year 12. Stop telling me to be – Myself, to be Draymond Green, essentially. I'm better at being Draymond than anybody. Imagine if I told y'all how to do your job. But, Austin, you have a a unique perspective on this. I don't want to put you on blast here, but you were suspended, right, for three games last year when you got into it with, who was it, Mo Bamba? You put him in a chokehold a little bit. A light (laughs) chokehold. The technical term is light chokehold. It was one of the more serious fights, though. So can you you just take me inside your mindset as a player? on the outside looking in, sometimes it's hard to understand. How do you let it get to that point? You know that Steph is already out for your team. That that fighting against the light that, that Zach was talking about. Yeah, a lot of times a line's crossed, right? Whether it's physical contact or someone verbally says something to you. And in a moment, it, it happens like this, super quick, where you're not thinking about the game anymore. You're not thinking about the consequences. You're not thinking about the technical fouls and the free throw shots that have to come after. You're thinking man versus man. It's me versus him. I got to protect myself. Or this guy disrespected me in a way where I'm not thinking clearly. In Draymond's sense, we know he's a highly emotional guy. Man. This is a guy who's had multiple, multiple instances where he's gotten into it with 
all likes of players. You brought up Donovan Mitchell. He, he, there's a play where he kicked me in the stomach like three years ago off a closeout. And I was out, I think, for a game or two after that with like a rib, uh, rib injury. So this is a dude who gets off on doing these type of things. And, you know, I don't, I don't know. Will something be done? I don't think so either. I really don't. I think three, four games is what they'll do. Same thing they did to me. Yeah, but as a guy that was up there and leading, leading the league in technical fouls, a guy that was about to scrap with Nene Hilario, right? We know him, and Zebo in the back. You know, I had to go to anger management. And the first, the last step in anger management of actually graduating out the program is admitting your faults and holding yourself accountable. Nothing about Draymond Green Post said anything about accountability or remorse. He's saying, I'm going to continue to be this person, and y'all going to have to do something about it. It's right there on the wall. It's a dare. It's the, yeah. Mm. I dare you to do something. Well, the wild thing is, all that happened, I mentioned it, 100 seconds into the game. The score was 0-0. There was whole, still a whole basketball game, still a whole in-season tournament game to be played after that whole kerfuffle erupted. So you can see Steph Curry was on the bench for this one. He's dealing with that knee injury. Steve Kerr said they got good news on the MRI, but it's expected to hold him out just a handful of games there. Okay, we got a little buzzer beater to end the third quarter. Steph says, that's usually my role. I love to see that from the young guy there. But then the Timberwolves sack, <laughs> they are coming. They're not afraid of anybody. This is their time in their belief, and their starting five has come together. Jaden McDaniels, before he got ejected, he's been looking great. There they are, and here comes Ant-Man coming for your throw. First team all NBA right now. First. By the way, Anthony Edwards and the backboard have a nice relationship this year, man. That guy's using the glass real well. This one came down to the wire. Dario Saric gets that one to go there, kicking it out. Conley to Carl Anthony Towns mm. for three. Yes, huge shot there from Cat, and then once again, Ant. Go ahead, OG. This, this is it. Go ahead, OG. This is it. That's the playmaking, right? Now, Being able Conley's to get reaction. yours and make others around you better. Love That's Conley's leadership. Reaction. This is where we are now. This is what we're going to do to Austin's point about what they think of themselves. The Timberwolves go on to win 104-101. For the first time in over 1,500 games, my friends, the Timberwolves are on a seven-game win streak. That snaps the third longest streak in NBA history between single-season seven-game streaks. So wow. watch out, the Timberwolves. It's a lot of games. Sarah coming. I know, right? <laughs>